Hey everybody, and welcome back to Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm us, Jack and Lady Stone Lake Jackson, and this is going to be another quick, dirty one. I did it for a friend of mine that came over the other day who told me that I was doing the chicken salad sandwiches wrong. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be when I tell you guys to let us know and we'll revisit it. This is what we're doing. This is going to be great. Before we get into it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, ring the little bell to get notifications when we do these, and check the link down in the doobly-doo for our merch, and let's just get into it. Chicken salad sandwich. It's going to be right here. All right. Oh, my camera's a little fuzzy here. I apologize. We're going to get some canned chicken breasts. You can get these in the tuna fish aisle. They're like a buck, buck and a half. All right. You want to want to use some croissants. You can make these yourself or you can just get them at the bakery section for like a buck or two. Easy enough. You don't want some mayo. I use light mayo. You're going to want some onion. Just a single cut of that. And whoop, I'm dropping everything here. You're going to want some celery. You don't need a lot. Just a few inches of a couple of stalks. You don't want to over celery this stuff. Uh, I add dill weed and salt and pepper to taste. Completely optional, but I was told the dill was absolutely mandatory. Uh, and then lettuce. You don't want a little bit of lettuce. And then you're going to need some shredded cheese. I'm using Monterey Jack because it seems best for me. So, first things first, wash all your vegetables. Get them nice and washed. And then you want to take your celery and cut it down into as small as pieces as possible. Uh, I've done it before with like big pieces of celery. And if you don't mind celery, that's fine. Uh, I'm not a big fan of celery by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and line these up and cut them and give them a rough chop just to get them as small as possible to put in here and mix. Like they don't have to be teeny tiny, right? You don't have to like, was it like dice or shred or whatever the hell they call it. Uh, I really need to look that up. My square, Mary's going to get mad at me because I didn't know what that was. Set it aside and I get you an onion. You want to do about a quarter inch worth of onion of a decent sized onion. Make sure you get all the skin of it off and you don't want to worry about washing it as long as you get the skin off. And then uh, again, just cut it one way then cut it the other way i guess it's a rough dice and then just add those in there now your chicken you want to go ahead and pull the lid and then drain all the juice out of there so you don't pour all that goopy chicken goo into the rest of it and put two cans in there that's you know a small tropical bird two cans eh, never mind just two cans of that and then you want to do about four to five uh tablespoons of the mayo i didn't do exact measurements because you just kind of put splats worth of mayo in there but it's about five and then you want to do about half a cup of your shredded cheese uh, you can get regular cheese and shred it yourself or grind it down or whatever but it's up to you if you want to use more cheese or not but that's what we're using here now your dill you want to use about uh two teaspoons or so don't want to over dill it <laughs> and then salt and pepper to taste right i'm more of a fan of doing about almost a tablespoon of pepper just because i'm that guy but uh and just a little bit of salt but that's just for your flavor now get you a decent spoon and give it a good mix it's gonna take a bit you're gonna make sure you want to do this in a decent sized bowl or like a plate where you can lay it out and just kind of fold it over and over on itself uh like I said, the chicken's going to be like big chunks. If you get the can open and it's too big, you feel free to slice them down. But they're pre-cooked, so you don't have to stress it too much. Uh, if you want it more wet, add more mayo, you're fine. Now, croissants, you, uh, I got these straight ones instead of the more curly ones. And the problem is you got to cut them if you're going to use them like, you know, like bread. Like you're going to use them like a roll. So, got to take a really sharp knife. Shout out to Andy. I shout out to that guy every time I use my knives that I get from him. Uh, one or two things of lettuce. If you got the thin ones, do two. If you got the thick piece of like the really white lettuce, put it on the bottom. Just use one. A uh, couple of spoonfuls of this. It fills up really quick because the croissant is usually pretty bulky. And then the lettuce is in there. Some people say you could add a tomato, but I'm not a fan of having tomatoes on stuff. So, this seems perfect. This is exactly what Andy told me to do. This was amazing. And like one of these was filling enough for I was like done. So this is perfect. Uh, I think it's like the croissants and the canned meat and cheese were our biggest expenditures here. About 2 to $3 a piece. And everything else just breaks down to pennies. So this is well under our budget. Um, the croissants came in a pack of six, I believe. So that was amazing. That really helped out and could just use it all and spread it all out between six. So if you put something next to it, it'll definitely do a meal for six people. Or for three that just want to eat two of these things. And there you have it, folks. Chicken salad sandwich on a croissant. It's excellent for, like, any kind of, like brunch would be outstanding a light lunch if you're looking for that stuff because it's very nice but the that of the cheese and the, the lettuce and the uh sandwich is amazing i've never done it if you do it differently you want to see us do it differently i'll revisit this again i like the chicken salad sandwich idea let me know put it down in the comments that's what they're there for you can find us on social media tell us over there find us at facebook pinterest patreon you can find us all those at living between paychecks kitchen or you can find us at instagram at living between we had to kind of shorten it down over there you can also find me over on tiktok i'm doing a couple of little small recipes little quick things that i can do in three minutes over there 
which is kind of fun. I'm going to try to translate these to there or there to here. Either way, it's just a quick and dirty way to find us on any other social media sites. Just self-promotion. Just pushing it all out there. And I'll catch you all next time. Y'all be safe. Enjoy the sandwiches. That should, that should be on a shirt, right? Just enjoy the sandwiches. Like that.